Hi everyone! Do you know the story of Sarada's birth? If you think it's corny and boring, you are mistaken. Their first date was bizarre, and I would say very peculiar. It was during the empty period when Naruto anime has ended. Sakura. The empty period is the time between the end of Hurricane Chronicles and the beginning of Gaiden. The only way to find out which character did what is to read the novels. Although if you look at the age of all children of New Age, it becomes obvious what exactly they were doing back then. Today I will tell you about Sakura and Sasuke because their story raises quite a few questions for me. It's going to be a fun video, so I hope you enjoy it. Peanuts. When Sasuke got released from Kakashi's imprisonment, he tells Sakura he's going away on a trip to get in touch with himself and his feelings. Then Sakura asks him if she can join him. He said that he can take her with him and points at her forehead with promise to return. Although Itachi has always said, Mata Kondo da, meaning path of rejection, maybe next time. Sasuke said Mata Kondo na, meaning a completely different thing, until next time we meet. It means that he accepts her feelings and will try to sort out their relationship during his trip. We know that Sasuke had soon returned to Kanoha when he said, I am back, Sakura. This part is confirmed by what Karen has said in Gaiden, about Sakura and Sasuke traveling together and Sakura giving birth to Sarada in one of the Orochimaru shelters. We understand that when Sasuke has left Kanoha for the second time, she was able to talk him into going with him. During their trip together, they created Sarada. Please don't ask me how it happened, by judging by Sasuke's reaction, it becomes evident that Sakura's pregnancy has really shocked him. Moreover, they were pretty far from Kanoha's hospital at that time. Sasuke was obviously not very happy about Sakura's pregnancy, and you could see that in his behavior when three of them have returned to the hidden leaf. After these events, he only lived for three years with Sakura, after which he left the village. According to Sarada's memory, we think that he left when she was three or four. Based on Hiro's age, we can say that Sakura was 16 at the end of the Fourth Great War of Shinobi, and she turned 20 at the end of the Hurricane Chronicles, and the beginning of Gaiden is the final arc of the Naruto series. Right at this time, Naruto and Hinata had their wedding. According to Naruto novels, they reunite in Kanoha by the end of both stories. After these events, when Sasuke leaves the village again, Sakura is able to talk him into going with him. Sarada's birthday is on the 31st of March, and Sakura's is on the 28th of March. Naruto and Hinata's wedding was celebrated on Sakura's birthday when she turned 20. The proof is in the note from Sasuke when he written congratulations to her. There is a 9-month pregnancy period before a woman gives birth. Suppose Sarada was born on time. Then Sakura got pregnant approximately in June, few months after Naruto and Hinata's wedding. So when Sarada was born, Sasuke was 20 and Sakura 21. If Sakura wears Uchiha's emblem, it means they got married, right? It must be. Or at least I hope that Sasuke had enough decency to marry Sakura after making her pregnant. Although Sakura could be the concubine with a child trying to legitimate herself by wearing the Uchiha emblem. It could explain why Sasuke didn't return home for 10 years, and told his daughter later whom he didn't recognize, and he was with her mother only because of her birth. I mean, what a gentleman. Still Sarada carries Uchiha's name and everyone acknowledges Sakura to be Sasuke's wife. Also, Narahina's wedding wasn't shown in the manga, only in the anime. So we can say with confidence that Sasuke and Sakura also could have legitimated their marriage, even if it was just a small dinner with few guests. But don't think their relationship has ended at that. Do you know that the meeting of Sasuke and Sakura only lasted two minutes? I am terrified to consider how they managed to create Sarada when even a simple harmless date was interrupted by the ridiculous awkwardness between them. I guess that maybe one time they got really drunk and that's how Sarada was made. Well, why not? I don't see any other explanation, because usually they have a hard time being close to each other. Plus, after getting married, Sakura continued blushing around Sasuke. During all Boruto series, I twice saw Sakura blushing around Sasuke, and she wasn't even talking with him at that moment. Now imagine what happened when Sakura has told him about pregnancy. 
I am sure Sasuke felt very awkward and confused at that moment. People often say that Sarada and Sakura have a brother and sister kind of relationship. And I must agree that Sakura actually looks very young. And she doesn't have a maternal authority in her family, like Hinata for instance. There are still people out there who think that Sarada's real mom is Karin. Especially for those who think this way, I want to tell you the following. The manga shows Suigetsu swapping the DNA samples when there was a question about Sarada's biological mother. Karin was the one who helped Sakura during birth. So Karin can be the biological mother of Sarada. Also, Karin is the one who keeps Sakura's umbilical cord. It's a weird custom, to be honest. I think it's a sign of goodwill and friendship between Karin and Sakura. They were both tied by the love for the same guy and the birth of Sarada. Sasuke ga... The story's point is that a bond doesn't have to be blood-related, just like the family. Karin and Sakura now respect each other, and the umbilical cord must symbolize that. However, it's possible that it sounded a little scary and weird, but the fact is the fact that keeping the umbilical cord is the symbol of a bond. If Sasuke had a child by Karin, would it be more potent than Sarada? Karin was pure blood Uzumaki. The clan was known for its strong vitality and endurance. Nagato could only use the Rinnegan because he was Uzumaki, in other words, the one who could allow himself to handle him. The Uzumaki clan is one of the two clans descending from the Ashura and the other from Senju clan. If Sasuke and Karin had a child, he would have had vast chakra reserves, a little bit solid vitality and stamina, which would let him use the Sharingan by maximum, without suffering from some type of shortcomings. Not only that, but the child could have had vast chakra reserves, and he or she would have probably opened Uchiha's full potential. Unfortunately, or not so much, Sasuke has used Karen as a tool. He was never grateful to her for being so helpful. And compared to Karen, Sakura was the only one who heard from him thank you. Sasuke is not like other manga heroes, he doesn't express his emotions in facial expressions, his body language or during speech. He doesn't say what he thinks when it comes to feelings. He doesn't know how to guide his feelings in a different direction except for anger and disappointment. But it doesn't change the fact that Sasuke couldn't tell Sarada that he loves her, or he's sorry that he didn't recognize her. We see that he obviously has inner conflicts regarding this matter, but he doesn't say anything to Sarada. また今度だ。咲いた。花を見ていた。慣れた。振りをしていた。触れた。<音楽>